Uh, hey there folks, welcome along to another video. Thanks for joining me once again. And uh, today I'm going to do a little bit of dog training. And I'm going training my little Springer Spaniel pup, uh, Spots. She's just short of four months old. And uh, my training regime for a pup that age is, my, my attitude towards it is to make it a positive experience for her. To make her see everything in a positive light. It's very important for a pup that age that she doesn't experience any real negativity she needs to see the whole world in a very positive light that way she gains a very positive experience and looks forward to it for uh, the next time you take her out so join me in the field and let's see how it goes yeah. okay folks just a few thoughts before i do a little training session here with um spots and uh it's important to decide ever before you actually start training what you require of your dog. And in the case of this pup here, basically what I require from her eventually is that she hunt and find game. And that she hunt within range, within shotgun range basically, that she hunts close. And um, assuming then that the game is shot, that she then retrieves the game to hand. That's basically what I require of this pup. So that's what I'd actually be trying to attain in the training that I do. Now, no pup is ever 100%. They'll have strengths in some areas and they'll be weak in other areas. So what you do is, as you go along, you, you will ascertain um, where the strengths are and where the weaknesses are. And then you have to tailor the training to take account of that. As you can see, she's full of beans, full of life. So I'm hoping that she'll maintain that kind of energy uh, eventually over three or four hour period. So with that much said, we're going to go in the field now. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, folks. The plan here today is um, a little confidence building exercise. Now. I know that Spots will retrieve a tennis ball because I've been doing a little bit of throwing it around the yard on the concrete yard and she'll pick it up and sometimes she'll bring it to me and other times she'll run around me but the um, principal thing is she'll actually pick up the ball. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to just increase the difficulty for her just a tiny little bit by throwing the ball in this grass here. But in order to instill confidence in her, I want her to find the ball as many times as possible. So what I do is I plant two balls and I throw one. That maximizes the chances of her finding a ball. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant. Before I plant them, what I do is I spit on them and I rub the spit into them. And that um, gives them a very strong scent. Now, not only that, I've carefully chosen this area here because I have the wind blowing from there in this direction, directly to me, so that when the pup runs out, hopefully she'll start to use her nose to try and find the balls, as opposed to up to now, she's just been using her eyesight. So, I'm gonna plant the balls. And I can see the balls quite easily. She won't be able to see them, obviously, because she's much lower down than I am. And when I throw the ball, I'll throw it to the area where the other two balls are, thereby maximizing her chances of finding the ball. So we'll get spots now and um, we'll um, give the exercise a try. Come on, spots. Come on, spots. Good girl. Come on, spots. Come on, good girl, good girl. So now what we have to understand as well is what we're dealing with <laughs> a very young pup here. She's just three and a half months, but this is a very important confidence builder for any pup. Good girl, what's that? What's that, Spots? I'm gonna make sure now to show it to where the other two balls are. Yes, good guess, good guess. What a great retrieve for a three and a half month old. Isn't that absolutely brilliant? Good guess. And she really likes the tennis ball. Now, 
not every dog likes a tennis ball. Some uh, some pups um, would prefer other things, dummies and stuff, but she really likes the tennis ball. So we're going to give her another one now. Good job. Make sure to throw it into the same area. Good girl, Spots. Good girl. Good girl. What a great girl. Don't be in any hurry to take it, because if you take it from her very quickly, she'll anticipate that and she might not be as keen to bring it back the next time. Great girl. And take it gently from her. Good girl. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold her this time, then throw the ball, and then let her go. And hopefully that she's going to use her nose to find the ball, as opposed to just following it by sight. Good girl. Good girl. So I'm holding her here now. Watch. It's a good ball. Good girl. There goes the ball. We let her go. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Come on, Spots. Come on, Spots. Great girl. What a great girl. What a great girl. And there you go, folks. Very, very simple, but it inspires confidence in the pup. We don't want the pup to fail at any point. We want her to succeed, to succeed as many times as possible. Good girl. So that's it, folks. Very, very simple, but like I say, great for inspiring confidence. She'll remember that and always finish your lesson on a positive note. She is now um, very happy and so am I. So once again, thanks very much for joining me. Be sure to subscribe if you want to follow how um, Spots here gets along in her training. And uh, thanks once again for tuning in. I'm going to be a kind of and I'm going to be a good girl, Spots. Good girl.